Morning guys, when I bought the AMD T14S, I got another dock and another mouse. Now the mouse is exactly the same as the one I had with my T4080S. No, no difference, still kind of cruise grease marks, it looks old overnight. The, the mouse wheel though, I must say, is better than the crazy MX Master 3, which I'm getting sick of. The sensitivity changes on this thing, and especially when you switch between machines, it just drives me absolutely nuts. Minimal, simple, this laser mouse works just fine. As for the dock, how do you tell the difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2? Gen 2 has this red bottom thing. And the major difference, I think, really only is that the Gen 2 has an HDMI port. I mean, who uses VGA anymore? But anyway, I love these docks, and I like the one cable going in. However, I did notice there is a curious difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 2 works better with a T14S. Let me quickly show you. So I have my Gen 2 and Gen 1 pretty much wired up the same way. My Gen 1 is going to my T4080S. Works fine. It's got network. It's got power. And the Gen 2 is going to my T14S. It's got network. It's got power. But this is where it gets weird. If I plug the old Gen 1 into my Gen 2, I'm disconnecting the Gen 2 from my T14S. If I just plug in the old Gen 1, I don't get any network. The workaround is to plug it in into this, this weird second USB-C port. And then wait a bit. And it should get the network. Yeah, here we go. It's slow too, I don't know why. So, the Gen 2 dock works better with the AMD T14S. And as a whole, I'm a little bit confused as to which, what are the limitations between AMD, USB-C, Thunderbolt 3. I think it's only when you have big 4K monitors, but I really don't know. So if anyone knows better where AMD, where Intel has the edge here with Thunderbolt, please let me know. Otherwise, the USB-C one cable into my laptop, I love it. I love it. Network, inputs, power, it's the dream. Please like the video and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Kai Hendry. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.